It's Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Welcome back to my channel for a very special Christmas episode. It's Christmas time and I didn't do any Christmas movies leading up to Christmas, so I am going to try and drop one about Christmas movies because it's Christmas time and I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of year. I have specific movies that I like to watch every single year and my favorite Christmas movie to watch is The Grinch. The original, like the live action, the old one. Not the not the original original, not the old animated one, but the old live action one. Nothing wrong with the the Grinch, the most recent one with Benedict Cumberbatch. He's great. That movie's fun too. But I, I'm I'm a sucker for the classics. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Candy Cane Lane, Eddie Murphy's new movie. Super excited about this one because this movie is very fun. Most Christmas movies are about, you know, the meaning of Christmas and family and all of those types of things. And this one is no different, but the delivery is a little different and it's very wacky and silly, which I enjoyed. There are time codes below if you want to skip around. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers for this movie at all, just because it's a Christmas movie and I think you should watch it and enjoy it going in knowing little about what actually happens. So I'll kind of skirt around those things as I can. But if you want to skip to a specific part, you know, the time codes are there for you to do so. So Candy Cane Lane is about the Carver family, Chris Carver, Carol Carver, mom and dad, and then we have Joy Carver, Nick Carver, and Holly Carver. And yes, they are all intentionally named after Christmas things, which the kids don't realize until later in the movie. The movie mostly follows Chris. He loses his job around the holiday time and tries to win his neighborhood's candy cane lane competition, which is basically a house decorating competition because there's a $100,000 prize this year. First time it's ever happened, they've gotten sponsors this year. And he wants to win this to save his family's last Christmas or the last Christmas that all of the members of the family could potentially be there. His daughter's going to college and she doesn't want to go to USC, which is like 20 minutes away from them. She wants to go somewhere else. She wants to go to Notre Dame, which, you know, uh, when it comes to the Indiana schools, uh, you know, I have a preference, but Notre Dame's great. Good for her, you know? But in trying to win this contest, he gets tricked by Santa's former favorite elf into signing a contract, which basically means if he doesn't complete a very specific set of things, obtaining the golden rings from the 12 Days of Christmas song, then he will be turned into a little Christmas decoration forever. Shenanigans, shenanigans. You know, I think the the plot of the story was, again, like I said, it's a pretty basic what's the meaning of Christmas story, as opposed to it being you know, like a lot of Christmas movies that are set around the dad of a family or a single man, where most of them are kind of like, oh, this person is selfish or they're a curmudgeon or they're a Scrooge, you know, they're selfish and they don't, they don't believe in the holiday spirit because blah, whatever. Chris does, he loves Christmas. He believes in the holiday spirit. He's a, a wood carver, Chris Carver. He loves Christmas. He taught his kids to love Christmas and he knows the meaning of Christmas really, but his, his fatal flaw is that he doesn't know how to ask for help. Like he wants to do things and he wants to take all the credit for them. But when he fails, he, he has a hard time asking for help and even letting his family know that he needs help. He wants to be, you know, super dad, number one and no flaws. That's his flaw. So I like that kind of change in, in what we normally see in Christmas movies. In terms of like characters and relationships, there's not really a ton of new relationships that the characters come into. They, they meet the Christmas decorations and they kind of build friendships with them along the way, but there's no romance plot in this movie at all, which is nice, but it also means that 
there's no like having to reconcile with like these people have known each other for really what is the equivalent of probably five days why are they suddenly in love when they hated each other in the beginning or were complete strangers in the beginning so there's none of that which is nice so I completely went along with all the characters you know their journeys the kids joy is going to college so her her dilemma is trying to break away from her family really like get her family to accept that she doesn't want to go to usc both her parents went to usc and they met at usc so that's their like dream for her is to go run track at usc she doesn't want to she wants to spread her wings and fly that's her dilemma and then nick their son's dilemma is he's a musician he makes music but his family doesn't understand that and he's failing math there's this pull of like the arts versus a real job stem type of thing which as a grad of filmmaking i found very interesting it's kind of played for jokes that he's like kind of really dumb in math which you know is, is ugh. i didn't love that but it it doesn't come up much in the movie because i don't think that in order to be good at the arts, you have to be dumb at STEM or vice versa. Some people just like what they like and that's okay. And then the little one, Holly, her thing is just kind of the typical thing of Christmas movie children. She's the the glue of the family kind of and she she's super into the holiday spirit. She ends up making connections that the other members of the family don't make maybe because they're old and they're jaded you know that kind of thing also i think nick is played by the kid who the the little boy from are we there yet the ice cube movies really good to see him in movies again i don't i don't remember the last time i've seen him in a movie other than are we there yet so that was like i loved that I'm pretty sure that's that kid and that was really cool the antagonist of the story pepper or peppermint we find out later is santa's former favorite elf she's like she kind of has a, a lucifer fallen angel story where she basically didn't like that people who made mistakes could still be on santa's good list so she's like very stickler if you make a single mistake you're all on the naughty list and you're getting cold so she decided to share those thoughts with santa and santa basically was like mm, no nah, we're not gonna do that and so he made her work in the reindeer stables she hated that so she quit and decided to make this pop-up christmas shop where she can trick people into signing away their lives basically she's like a very over-the-top crazy you know christmas villain which roped them into that roped him chris into that contract that results in a very chaotic and wonderful scene at the end of the movie in terms of christmas goodies and christmas goodness i love it there's a lot of older songs in the movie specifically in the beginning of the movie as it gets towards the end you get kind of more christmas remix type songs but yeah like i said this family loves christmas so it's cool to watch a Christmas movie where it's like all Christmas all the time. We're, we're going for it and we're not ashamed about it in any way, shape or form. I love Christmas also. So I was fully on board with that. It's a feel good movie. And again, it's, it's a movie with the Christmas message. The Christmas message being what's on the outside of your house isn't as important as what's on the inside, your family. And maybe you don't have to be number one at everything if you have your family. And maybe it's okay if people want different things than you want. It's just, it's really cute. It's a little corny at times, but in a 
in the endearing Christmas kind of way. There was never a moment where I, where I like rolled my eyes and I just watched a Christmas movie where I was about to roll my eyes out of my head. So this was significantly better than that. For those who are curious, best Christmas ever, don't watch it. Please don't, please. Unless you want to just like laugh at a movie the entire time, but not because it's funny, but because it's terrible. I'm so sorry for the actors <laughs> and the people who made that movie because it is really bad. And Brandy's in it. And I'm like, ah, oh, Brandy deserves so much better. Anyway, back to this movie. I definitely recommend it. I think it's a great family movie, but it's also, if you're just chilling in Christmas by yourself or with one other person or whatever, you know, significant other or not, that I think you'd still enjoy the movie. I watched it by myself and I loved it and I will probably get my family to watch it. So overall, my rating for the movie would probably be, hmm, now do I rate this as like a Christmas movie or do I rate it as like a movie movie? <sighs> I think I'm gonna get a, give it a seven and a half. I think that's fair. Because in terms of Christmas movies, like it's a pretty pretty decent Christmas movie. And I think it's a, a better than Christmas movies, other Christmas movies released this year for sure. But in terms of like movie movies, it's a little corny, it's a little cheesy. Definitely not giving it a nine out of 10. So yeah, I think I'm gonna settle on, uh, I don't know, man, seven and a half, eight-ish, somewhere around there. It's good enough that you should watch it. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining me on this holly jolly video please make my christmas wishes come true by liking <laughs> by liking and subscribing to my channel by commenting your favorite christmas movie and maybe i'll do it at some point in the middle of the year maybe i'll do christmas in july movies share this movie with your friends and your family who also need a christmas movie to watch for the holiday season if you want to keep up with my reacher reviews click right here and if you want to watch another of my movie reviews click right here have a very merry christmas and a happy new year and i will see you all in the next video Thank you.